Alright guys, big welcome to our channel, we are Team Crushing the Meta. As you can see, we are back with more premium collection reveals. Today's reviews will be Global and our Lord Princess. So, if you don't know how this works, well, all the cards with the red cross on them are the cards that we have already covered. So the cards that you could find the link to in the description section below. The cards with the creepy green smiley on them are the cards that we will cover in this video. So without further ado, let's jump into this video. The first card that we will cover is Global Avalanche. He has two very good abilities. The first one is a continuous ability in the G zone. Whenever you have two cards from him face up in the G zone, then your opponent cards, whenever they get unlocked, they go to the bind zone face down. The second ability is an act ability, once per turn, you soul blast one, you turn something face up from your G zone, you choose two cards from your opponent's regards and lock them, and for each of your opponent locked cards and each card face down in the G zone, they front row, your front row, gain extra 2k. So, how is this card effective in the meta or in the decks that Link Joker have? First of all, deleters. This is perfect for deleters. It binds this, that means that you get to your 15 cards in the bind zone face down easily. Second thing is, which will become huge, is locking. As deleters have the option to delete to bind they do not really have that big of a locker that cards that could just lock that's why they tag the legion mate a lot in the past to just be able to lock something with this card it's just easy it's a soul blast one which is not even a counter blast and you turn something face up in your jason which in the most situation will be himself so that you have him already two card two times face up in your G-Zone and that would mean that his first skill will go off. So after striding once into him, his first skill will go off. So that's pretty good. When we talk about Chaos Breaker, I myself have mixed feeling about this card because normally Chaos Breaker, when the cards get unlocked, you use his ability to retire and draw or you let them there. You let them chill on the field so whenever it's your turn again, you lock them again. And that's also what makes Chaos Breaker so good is that you can lock from your opponent hand in the front row. And from that moment on, you leave those two regards locked so your opponent can't do much. And with this card, that's different because he will bind them right away. Which in case of Messiah could be good because you're getting rid of your opponent's uh, Ragard at the same time like with your uh, combining this card with like any of your uh, G-Guards because you have a G-Guard that unlocks because he doesn't say uh, when it unlocks he just say when your opponent's Ragards are unlocked so you could lock them then unlock them and then you just bind them so that's an amazing combo that you could do with the G-Guard right there so yeah I think that this is a very 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 good card and especially for deleters but at the same time i think all the others could make use of it if they want to because just leaving two copies of him uh, face up in your g zone would mean that his first skill will go off which is something that is always a plus all right next card that we have is dark lord princess the same as the dark regular stride castile this is a card that gives the clan another dimension and does help with some combos. What she does is at the end of the battle that she attacked the Vanguard, you pay the cost which is just turning something face up. I would love to have this in Spike, just turning something face up without taking Counter Blast or Soul Blast or anything. You stride a face up G zone unit with power and magia ability on your Vanguard as stand and it loses twin drive so it has one drive left and if you have a stride you call this unit to the regard circle so what could this mean first of all you attack with your regards then you attack with this card then you pay the cost you flip something if you don't have anything in your g-zone face up that you want to stride into then you flip that unit and you could stride into that unit and she comes on the field one thing which is 
your cards that have GB3 ability will not go off and cards that have GB2 ability will also not go off because she comes as a ragguard and because of that you are losing your GB2 so keep that in mind but most importantly strides with Magia almost all of your strides are with Magia so that's good the only cards that I could think of that does not have Magia as the strides are actually the Nightmare Doll ones so the Nightmare strides those do not have Magia but I think that's also smart from Bushi because otherwise you could do some extra stuff and they don't maybe don't want you to do that but having the Magia ability and of course something which has power so you cannot stride into a G guard <laughs> why would you uh, but yeah that's a possibility so I think that um, the design of this card is pretty cool the art is of course amazing but again just having that extra interesting skill that the people that play the clan will have to sit there think about it and think oh how could we use this card the timing striding whenever um, in the battle phase that would mean that we cannot activate act ability but we could activate the auto ability also on place abilities on place abilities will now go off in the battle phase which means that in the past when you had an on place ability that had to activate whenever you strike but now it's in the battle phase you keep that in mind while you're building your pill moon deck and thinking about how to use this card and that was actually it for this video i'd like to thank you guys all for watching and let me know in the comment section below which is your favorite stride of this set for me i still think that it will be the until now it's definitely Gasteel, but i'm waiting for the spike brother one i can't wait to see what violence ace will do all right thanks for watching again until next time